Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Today I've got an interesting thing on the table. It's the Mantis Laser Academy. Please don't forget to check out our website. Go to our affiliates page. You'll find discount codes for things like Mantis X and Core Belts. You'll find a link that you can sign up for Big Daddy Unlimited. They actually have things in stock and usually at a lower price than other places. Link to that cool little bore light that we use for lighting up the barrels. Use those links. It will often save you money, never will cost you any additional money, and helps the channel. Thank you. This was sent to us by Mantis for a review, and basically it's a laser dry fire system. But it's one of the first ones I've seen that I actually like, and as we go through the review, there'll be a lot of reasons why. But the biggest thing about it is it's very flexible. And when I show you various clips, it, I'll explain how flexible it is. But there's very little in this that's proprietary, which means you can use other things with it, and it's not limited to using just their gun or their whatever. That makes it a lot easier to use, and it also doesn't require pairing anything with your phone, which sometimes can be a bit of a hassle. It just uses your the app on your phone and the camera. So let's talk about what you're looking at here. The pistol does not come with it, but that's the pistol that I'm gonna use for testing this. And it's important to note, this requires no modifications to the handgun. This doesn't modify your gun in any way. It doesn't change anything about the trigger. There's a laser unit. Uh, this one is a nine millimeter, but they come in a number of different calibers that you insert like a cartridge. So you insert this into the bore like you were inserting a cartridge and it uses the firing pin of the gun to fire a laser pulse that the app uses. But this is temporary. You put it in, uh, these O-rings hold it in place and this little wooden dowel that comes with it, you can use to push the cartridge out when you're done using it because it will stick in there pretty good. But there's zero modifications to your handgun. Once you pop this thing back out, the gun is just like it was before. While this is in place, it's impossible for the gun to chamber an active round. So as long as you follow other safety procedures associated with dry fire training, it's a safe thing to do because you're not using anything that remotely resembles a live round. So I'm looking at this case here, kind of show you what's in it. You choose when you buy it, which cartridge you want. I chose the nine millimeter because I've got a large selection of nine millimeter guns. You also can get other cartridges and there's room for you to hold three in here and actually a, a few more. There's a couple other spots you can put cartridges. It comes with a phone holder because it does need your phone and it comes with this little mini tripod. And what you're looking at right here in front of me is the portable kit. So this comes even with these little targets and there's one sitting up against the box here and there's an assortment of them. And these targets are pretty cool because the way they work is each one of them is set up for a different type of drill that works with the app and it auto recognizes the target based on these codes in the corner so when you point your phone at it and you'll see that when I do the demonstration video it can locate these targets up against whatever backdrop you got them against recognizes what target it is what drills it works with but sometimes it's fun to just play and it, the app has multiple what they call open shooting modes where any target will work with it and basically it just scores you based on where you hit. So you can use it for some serious training or you can just have some fun. I happen to have landed on the target for one of the more complex drills, but of course it has other targets that you would be used to. This is you know, a very common one that is used for target shooting. Now you might be thinking, well, these targets are a little bit small. Well, this is a portable kit. It all fits in this little container. There is a standard kit, which includes the portable kit. So when you buy the standard kit, all this white space in the box would be taken up by this, and it comes with significantly larger targets. So you've got the little five by sevens, or you've got eight and a half by elevens. So if you've got more room, you can use these. It also comes with a little tripod, and you'll see this is the one that I actually use. The one that's in here is the one I actually use during the demonstration footage, and it's, it also has a phone holder. So you can use either one or the other, or a couple of the drills or games that they have on the app is a two-shooter, there's a duel, where two shooters would participate, and you might both use your phone. And it comes with these little target stands. This is a new edition, so if you had gotten one of the earlier editions that it didn't have these, but these little target stands, it's a little plate, and then these little hoops, you just screw these together, and set them down and it holds the target and when you do the when you look at the demonstration video that I did I was using these and that's what I was using to hold the target up so when you look at that demonstration video 
that's what's holding the targets up. It also comes with these little sticky things. They're kind of a kind of a stick on the wall, and they'll stick to the paper, and they don't damage the wall. So if you've got a smooth enough wall, you can also stick the targets to any wall with that, or a window, or anything like that, uh, without damaging it. But these stands work good if you don't have a wall that you want to use, or you want to use it on, let's say, a table. In the demonstration videos, I propped it up on a folding wooden table on top of a rifle box. That's how easy it is to set this up anywhere you want to set it up. And all of this can be taken with you if you want to go someplace to a friend's house or whatever. Now, here's the firearm, and it is unloaded. So I'm going to lock this back. Easiest way to do it. Take this laser cartridge, and you would insert it with the switch to the back or the laser aperture to the front, whichever way you happen to look at it. And keep in mind, this is a laser, so you don't want to look down the aperture or down the barrel while it's installed. You just push it into the bore, close the gun, and now when I pull the trigger, let's see if I can get this up against something that has enough contrast, you'll see, you see that little laser pulse? That's the pulse you see. I'll do it a couple more times. It looks like it's dim. It's not. It's quick because the phone is monitoring it. The phone app is monitoring the target. It, it's able to tell exactly where that dot hit and record the score. So it doesn't need to be very long. And it, when I set it up, it worked flawlessly. It auto-detected the targets, and you'll see that in the, the video. It detected the targets. It puts little boxes around them. And from there, as I did my shooting drill, it detected where the laser hit and scored me. Now, one important thing about dry fire, and this is one that this system has that many of the others don't, is it has the ability in the app to adjust the offset. So the laser would be effectively the very center, center of the muzzle, and you see your sights are right up here. Well, if you're 10, 15 yards downrange, that starts to not matter. The parallax error of the difference between the sight and the bore become less important. But when you're up close, often dry fire, you know, you're just across maybe a living room or a small bedroom or an office, you don't have all that runway. You can still use this. And you can adjust in the app by specifying what that distance is. That's an important thing because if you can't do that, and most laser trainers that I've worked with can't do that, you end up doing Kentucky windage. So you learn to hold an inch or two high or an inch or two low to get it to be on target. Well, that defeats the whole purpose of training. You're trying to train good habits, not bad habits. And this allows you to effectively zero the app to that distance so that you can train good habits. You can set it so that when you hit the bullseye, you aim at the bullseye, you hit the bullseye, and the app recognizes that you've hit the bullseye. Now, the laser will actually hit someplace else, but the app will compensate. So the app is smart enough to figure out, you put the sights here. Yeah, I know the laser hit over there, but I'll deal with that. That alone is one of the cool features of this particular setup. And the pricing on these is actually pretty reasonable. So the portable kit alone, which comes with the little targets, the everything you see in this box, and your choice of one laser cartridge, is $99. That's the MSRP. For $50 more, you can get the full kit, the standard kit that has the additional tripod that you'll see in the video, these little stands and the bigger targets. And it also, either car, either one comes with a little activation code to unlock the pro features of the app. And I'm going to show you the app in a couple seconds. But it comes with a bunch that are free, and then there's some pro features that you can either pay $50 to unlock for life of that particular account, uh, or you can use the activation the code that comes with the kit. Which that brings me around to, it's very non-proprietary. The only thing that's at all proprietary are these targets. These are important to work with the app. And they do sell these. So you can get these targets, especially if you mess them up or even if you never bought the kit. But I'm going to say, even though you could assemble this kit yourself without buying it from them, I wouldn't do it. The price is so reasonable that you basically would spend almost as much by the time you buy all these things separately. The, these little laser cartridges are 30 something a piece if you buy them separately. And then pay to activate the app. By the time you're done, it's just better to buy it from them and it's all bundled together and it works. But let's talk about the app for a second. So I happen to have an Android phone. It really doesn't matter uh, which phone you got, as long as it's got an operating system that would support it. So Android and uh, Apple, you know, the more recent versions. And I'm not going to take you on a long, boring tour of the app. Really, the most important part of the app are the drills. So all of these drills are there's tutorials, there's open shooting, 
If you see these ones that have the little pro next to them, those are the ones that you need to activate to use. And again, this comes with the kit comes with the activation code that gives you a lifetime activation, or you can buy it for 49 bucks in the app. But you start out with your, your simple open shooting, single and multi-target. And that's just, I want to have some fun, I want to practice, I want to learn how to use the thing. And then you can get started and get into some time drills. And some of these compressed surprise breaks, it starts a timer and then it beeps and then it determines how quickly you can get one shot off. So you could, you know, kind of going back to your choices, anything that doesn't have a pro in front of it will work for free with the app with any laser training device. The ones that are pro are the ones you would either use the activation card that comes with it or you'd activate it in app, whichever you choose. So these, when you start getting into these more advanced drills, and most of these are under that pro version, you're starting to get into some real serious training, the type of training you would do for like IPDA or there's different types of shooting competitions so you can practice for that. Now I showed you using a real firearm that is easy to use. Now I happen to pick this one because it's DASA. So the nice thing about that is I can just keep pulling the trigger or I can thumb it back depending on what I'm trying to practice. You can use this with striker guns like a Glock but you are going to have to cycle the Glock. But the nice thing is if you do cycle it it doesn't pull the cartridge out. That's why you need the stick so that you can cycle it. Though, using a DASA, of course, makes your training a little bit smoother, other than the fact that now you've got a double action trigger. But you also have options for any other device that will produce a laser pulse. This is a CERT training pistol. On their own, these are actually pretty cool. Uh, they've got two lasers. One that when you touch the trigger, it lights up so you know you're on the trigger and you can kind of track your movement. And then another one that lights up when you pull the trigger. You'd want to turn that tracking laser off or switch on the top. And then when I pull the trigger on this, I get a laser that stays on as long as I hold the trigger. This worked perfectly with the kit as well. And of course, this is never a firearm. This is just a training tool. This could also be used in conjunction with a firearm for some of those duels because, you know, you got, I've got a laser source. But the nice thing about their app, once you have the targets in the app, you can pretty much train any way you want to with any kind of device that will create a decent quality laser pulse. And you'll notice this is a green laser, and it worked perfectly with it. And the rate laser that came with it is a red laser. Some of the other laser kits that I've seen out there, they're nice, but they either require a dedicated box, or you have to pair some device to your phone, or you have to work with specific hardware. It'll only work with this or that. This, you can create a laser pulse that'll work. There is one caveat. These do not work with high points or Ruger SR series. And it's not that they're being elitist or anything, but the firing pin impact and the travel of the firing pin on those guns is too far. It'll damage the laser mechanism. I mean, the kit would, wouldn't care, but the laser would be fairly quickly destroyed by it. And they call that right out on their site. So kind of going back, you know, you've got $99 for the, the small kit, which is this portable kit here. And then $149 adds the larger targets and the other things that goes with it. And you've got a very robust training system. I'm going to mention one thing, but I'm going to do a separate review on it because this is already going to kind of get long. they got a device called a Blackbeard that you use to put into an AR platform. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. When I set this thing up, which was fairly easy to do, I learned how to use it and started playing with it, it was fun. So not only was I doing a review and doing an evaluation, but I was enjoying myself. From a training perspective, ranges are getting expensive. Ammo is ridiculous right now. This is a very inexpensive way to train. I mean, these days it's three boxes of nine and you've bought the standard kit, the full kit for what nine's going for these days. And you can train conveniently in, in your own house. So if you decide to get one of these, go to our website, go to our affiliates page. It's in the description, the link to the website. And please use the link there to pick this up. It won't cost you anything more, but it does help out the channel. But you're probably you know, getting a little bit of tired of talky-talky. You want to have some shooty-shooty. So we're going to do some pretend shooty-shooty. I'm going to cut into some clips where I actually go through and use this thing and go through a couple of the drills. And you can see how easily it is to work it and how much fun it is. It really honestly is a lot of fun to use this thing. And again, thank you, Mantis, for sending this to us to do the review, as well as that Blackbeard that I'll have in another video. I've set up the targets. I just picked a random assortment. And I'm in one of the pro features, the open shooting multi-target. So all I can do now is I can start it and shoot the different targets and it'll time me and give me splits and everything else. So I'm going to start by starting it. Ten. Nine. 
And then once I've done it, it finishes. It takes me to a screen that gives me the number of shots I fired and the various statistics. What you can see is that I fired four rounds. I scored a total of 36, 5.3 seconds. And then you can see the scores that I scored going down through it. Now, one cool feature about this one is, especially at close distance, I'm, I'm using this in the studio, so I'm at fairly close distance, the sights and the bore don't line up. So it allows you to put in an offset for that so you don't have to do Kentucky windage. I haven't done that because I'm going to try it with different guns and stuff like that. But once you pick a gun you're going to use this with, or if you have a couple, you just make note of the uh, basically what you're looking for is the distance between the muzzle, and this, is, this has got the laser in it, and the sights. So this gap from here to here is your offset. And most of these systems don't offer this. So one of the cool things about this system is that you can set it up where you're not training bad habits. Training Kentucky windage is a bad habit. It's going to train you to do things wrong. You can adjust this so that you shoot dead on with however that pistol works and you get your results. While I've got the phone sitting here, I'm going to kind of go through a couple different features of it. So you can see here I've got the targets and little blue lines around each target means it's auto acquired the targets. This one over on the far end here is the control target. That allows me to shoot that target and either start or stop a drill or clear that clear it out and then each of these targets it knows exactly what target that is so in open shooting it just treats it as a target and you can actually see now i kind of messed it up when i got got my hand in front of it but you can see down here that little red dots where i hit right there where i hit right there where i hit so it's, it's also recording where i hit if you use the wind digit or the offset adjustment capability, it'll actually move that dot to the appropriate place it would have hit if you were at whatever distance you zeroed for. On pistols, you pretty much don't mess with zeroing, but if you're real close up, then the sights will be off. You can set your distance, you can start the drill, or I can shoot the start target to start the drill, uh, or you can clear your stats for another run. So. At that point, you can see how easy it is to use. And I didn't go through every single possible drill. That, that would be an hour-long video to go through all of that. And at this point, you probably just want to get one of these your own and start having some fun. But again, thank you, Mantis, for sending this to review. And we're going to put some miles on this thing, I guarantee it. Probably you'll even get some additional cartridges. They sell laser cartridges for the additional cartridges for different handguns. And, you know, not just these that are in this list. These are just a few of the examples of what's available. But beyond that, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, click that bell up there to be notified if you do. Check us out on Facebook, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, kind of everywhere. And thank you.